As you might know, the Nintendo Switch has a tendency of overheating, causing it to crash and ultimately causing it to have a lot of damage. Today we're going to look at how to fix your Nintendo Switch from overheating. Let's get right into this. First, you're going to need a screwdriver to open the back of your Nintendo Switch. Once you have it open, you should see the fan. The fan is what cools down the Switch, however, sometimes dust can accumulate and causing the fan to not work as efficiently. To fix this, you're going to want to take a small brush or a cotton swab and gently remove any dust or debris that is in and around the fan. Once you've cleaned all the dust that is in and around the fan, then you can go ahead, close it up, put the screw back in, close the back of the switch up, and turn it on. From here, you should notice that your switch is running more smoothly. Now, if you've cleaned your fan, but you've noticed that the overheating issue is still ongoing, then the next step is to replace the thermal paste. The thermal paste is a substance that helps conduct heat from the switch to the heat sink. To replace the thermal paste, you'll need to open your switch once again. This time you're going to go and remove the heat sink and clean any dust that may be in and around the heat sink. Next, you're going to want to clean off the old thermal paste with rubbing alcohol. Apply a new layer of thermal paste to your heat sink. You just need the perfect amount. You don't need to overdo it with the thermal paste. Then go and reattach it to your switch. Now all you have to do is close up your switch once again. Now after you've cleaned out all of the dust and replaced the thermal paste, you should notice your switch running more smoothly. It honestly at this point should be running like it's brand new. I hope this video helped you guys fix your overheating issue. If you are still experiencing an overheating issue, it might be a hardware issue with the switch and you might have to go and contact Nintendo directly to get them to either replace or start the process to fix the issue. But for most people, replacing the thermal thermal paste and taking out all the dust and cleaning out the switch usually fixes the problem for them. Hopefully it has for you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.